you could spare a bite for us, we'd be in your debt, sir. They beat us for begging. Just distract him for a moment, and we'll take what we need. Anyone caught in any way aiding this fellow? Still too close, mister. Draw my farther. Too many eyes on it. Anyone caught in any way aiding this foul miscreant? shall receive the utmost punishment of the law as reward. How dare you call upon me after Monmouth? I have nobody else to turn to. The Culper Ring informed me that West Point's been infiltrated. I believe they intend to murder Major General Benedict Arnold. I still do not see why you need me. The loss of such a figure would be devastating to the cause. It must be done without my soldiers' knowledge. The mere idea of the Patriots being breached would be crippling to morale, to the war. Will you do it? It will be done. But never call on me again. Give me the money, or you'll suffer the consequences and... It's not complicated. Oh, good day, sir. Have you come to pay this gentleman's debts? How nice of you. Ha! The city could use more good Samaritans like yourself. <laughs> I have a few other debts to collect. Maybe you could save me the trouble. I don't know what possessed you to do such a thing, but I thank you, sir, a thousand times. Might I have a word? Name's Dobby Carter. Couldn't help but notice you're getting involved in the goings-on in our borough. Thought we might be of service to each other. What is happening here? Ever since the war kicked off, merchants have been demanding high prices for the good of the cause. Profiteering is what that is. It's high time the folks round the way got a fair shake. How can I help? That easy. That's a change. Uh, set these up nearby when you get a chance. It's part of a bigger plan I got. Come see me when you're done. If you could spare a fight for us, we'd be in your death. These two chase us and beat us when they can. You could draw them away. We could take just enough to fill our bellies for the night. Too 
many eyes on us. Travis get off to? Heard his son has got the sickness. Arnold sent him home. <laughs> Not what I heard. I heard he's proper disappeared. Wherever he went, his replacement is something of a bore. Quiet fella. Keeps to himself. Not like Travis was. Always up for a laugh. I know what you mean. Feels like the new chap is gonna strangle me in my sleep. <laughs> Come off it. What in God's name are you doing? That man was a British spy. He intended to kill you, Major Arnold. What? General Washington learned of the plot and sent me to foil it. Indeed. We need all the support we can muster. Some of my men are leaving on a munitions delivery to a nearby camp, and I need you to escort them. Find John Anderson upon your arrival. He'll have further instructions. Questions? No. 
Good. Major General Arnold sent me to assist you. Yeah? All right, he's the boss. Thank goodness you're here. Doubt we could get all these crates down to the camp without you. You do not agree with this? You haven't a laugh. We're meant to garrison West Point, and by extension, hold the Hudson. It's vital, no arguing that. So why is it we're shipping out half our powder and shot? Why not bring up your concern with Major General Arnold? I have. He threatened to have me court-martialed for insubordination and treason, if you can believe that. So I follow orders, no matter how absurd. I'm not the real traitor. I could tell you who it is if you let me go. Listen, listen. Just turn your back for five seconds and you'll never see me again. I don't want anything to do with this place. Listen, mate, I know you're just following orders, but things aren't what they seem around here. I'm telling you. Is it my want? Because I got money. How much to set me free? Be quiet. All right, all right, listen. I can fix this. Just give me a chance and I'll prove to you I'm a real patriot. I want this country as much as the next man. Just let me show you. That the traitor? It is. Major General Arnold will have further orders for you. Sounds good. Welcome aboard, milady. <laughs> Ah, Connor. Just the man I wanted to see. Well done, capturing the traitor, but I must ask more of you. There are some kegs of powder resting inside the fort. Bring them to the magazine. Dismissed.
Are you well? As well as I can be, given the circumstances. You? Same. But we're close. So very close. We need to talk about this someplace with fewer curious ears. Has Clinton agreed? It is done. Only the matter of my compensation remains something of the utmost importance to me. Deliver this letter. Make absolutely sure he gets it. Please be cautious. A mistake at this stage would be unfortunate. When we come out on the other side of this thing, I'll make sure you're rewarded, Major Andre. Generously. <laughs> you mean John Anderson, sir? Yes. Sir. Sir. Make sure we're not followed. If anybody sees us, kill them. Far enough for you two. Keep a keen eye and come for me when you see the smoke. Yes, sir. We'll be waiting, Major Andre.
Halt! Gentlemen, I hope you belong to our party. What party? The lower party. We do. Good. I'm an officer in the British Army and I must not be detained. I will chalk this mishap up to fatigue. But we ain't British, friend. And you are under arrest. Uh, that was merely a test, and you passed. I'm an officer of the Patriots, in truth. Here are my papers. Rubbish! Kill him and bring his head to the commander. No! Do not kill him. Search him instead. Blessed stars. His real name is Major Andre, and he's with the British. He carries this letter on behalf of Major General Benedict Arnold. Arnold is our commanding officer. Bind Andre's hands immediately and bring him to Commander Washington. I will see to Arnold. Connor, finished already. I have some more. Explain this. Well, I don't know what this is. A letter in your hand addressed to General Clinton of the British Army confirming the surrender of West Point for the sum of 20,000 pounds. This must be some sort of plot to expose the fort. I'm a patriot through and through, Connor. My actions at Saratoga speak to that, I'm sure. For your sake, I hope General Washington agrees. He will be arriving here today. Regulars! Regulars! We're under attack! It's the main! Push it back! Arnold betrayed us! That turncoat bastard! We secure the fort, then we deal with Arnold. I...
to the Vulture! Arnold was behind this, but he escaped. If you did not catch him, nobody could have. West Point is secure. Major Andre will hang for his crimes. And Arnold? We'll try to find him, though I have my doubts. Whom can we trust now? If Patriot heroes are betraying us, you reap what you sow. Got some more? Let's have a look, then. That won't do it, boy! Get some more, and then we'll barter. Ah, it's good to be at sea again, but I don't much like that sky. Even a pretty sunrise is a bad omen to you, Mr. Faulkner. Where are these raiders? By guessing by God, an easterly course toward the coast. Miss Mandy reports of some British boats gathering somewhere in these rocks, threatening the vineyard. Sails ahoy! British gunboats after one of the vineyard ships, Captain. We must protect her. Draw their fire, Captain! 
We need to keep the gunboats off her till she reaches the vineyard here. What are you doing, Captain? That ship needs our help! Civilian ship! Mines, Captain! Mines, Captain! Destroy them or use them to our advantage. Either way, avoid the blasted things. To our advantage, how? Shoot the blooming things with our swivels when our targets get too close. Aye, aye. She should be safe now, but it's a hot chase. Get after them and end the threat on the vineyard. They veered north. Not there, but an abandoned fort. Shouldn't be there! 
Well, it is there, Mr. Faulkner. And it's too close to the vineyard. Diamond Tide waits for no man. Take out her towers. Nice driving, Captain. Got our boys aboard, you sir. Anybody know more? Bloody English have gone too far this time. That is the problem. What reason would the English have to threaten Martha's Vineyard? It has no strategic value and its people remain peaceful. I fear an influence of a different kind saw to this. Templars. But what they intend, I do not know. Your orders? I need time to piece things together. We set a course for home. Aye, aye. Trust her? With my life, Captain. <gasps> oh, hello. Name's Amanda. You must be the captain. Now, what's all this about, then? You stride into my bar off the piss and looking for officers. Days later, I start hearing whispers the ghost of the North Seas stalks the Atlantic again. The Aquila has returned, and I need her help. 
Nicholas Biddle now sails for the Patriots, captaining the Randolph. But the man is raiding up and down the coast round Nantucket, claiming it's a loyalist post. Where is he now? Speak of the devil. Head below deck, Mandy. It's safer there. I want to see this myself. is attacking a merchant vessel not far from here. new ship for him to captain. From British coxswain to captain of a colonial flagship, something doesn't add up. Heavy gusts, captain! Hard counter! That wind will push us hard up those rocks! Near off! There's a storm coming, Captain. Feels like a big one. Turn sail. Do we chase him? We cannot leave this merchant vessel to the mercy of the English. Why is Biddle doing this? Then tuck it is for the Patriots. The company you speak tells me his true allegiance lies elsewhere. A salute to 
was, sir. They're safe. What now? Pursue the Randall. to their jibs. Where's the Randolph? He's gone, sir. Cut and run. Left us to deal with this rabble. But this storm concerns me a great deal more. We have little choice. Aye. Time your shots between the waves, sir. Then we must find shelter, or it won't be cannon fire that ends us. Mr. Faulkner, we make for the vineyard. I have never seen weather like that. It's rare, but it happens. You did well. What's bothering me is Biddle's a patriot now. Why is he helping the British Navy like that? Old friends, maybe? Well, how would you convince the Continental Congress the Navy needs more ships? The rash of British raiding the coast is reason enough to address the gripe. Gunboats at the vineyard, now this. Hmm. Biddle aims to be the first admiral of the Colonial Navy and is making a case for the need. That was some deft sailing, Captain. I was watching from the gun deck. What were you doing on the gun deck? I told you to stay out of harm's way. I'm fine, Bobby, not to worry. The people of Nantucket are surely grateful, and so am I. Glad you're back. The fort doesn't look as abandoned as it should. Looks occupied as can be. I will need something to draw their attention then. Once you lose sight of me, wait for ten minutes, then bombard the fort. I will slip out under cover of the shelling. Aye, aye, sir. Sounds a trifle dangerous, but I'm sure you're up to it. I doubt they let convicted pirates like old Lucky Lem out of his cell much, so if his little scroll is anywhere, it's there.
Now we'll have to circle around to avoid the courtyard. Nah, it's probably a gull or a wreck. The only intruders we get here anyway. Preposterous. We sent me across the ocean to play sentry on some meaningless isle. This is my last tour for a certainty. When I see the captain, I'll look him directly in the eyes and say, Sir, I am going home. I've had enough of these nonsense assignments. Never attack this port, I ask you. Nobody. No reason to. They sent us here because the captain did something wrong. Like what? Buggered if I know. I wager he buggered something. Come off it. And keep watch. Yeah, yeah. Double time! We'll get the whip if we're late for the captain's address. I'm hurrying. I'm hurrying. on strategy, nor are you aware of rebel movements. So put a stop to it. The next man I hear questioning the validity of our post will receive ten lashes and seven days in the old dungeon without rations. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Check the dirt sheet for duties and details for the coming week. B Company will be in drills and without rum rations until they properly execute formations two and three. Such sloppy marching will not be tolerated. Yes, sir. Yes, sir! That lurcher is out of his head. 
Who would do that to a man? That's why you don't let soldiers get bored. Jack and Abe deserved everything he got. We won't tolerate such behavior. Let that be a lesson to the rest of you. He didn't mean anything by what he said. Well, you're getting soft. I just don't think it's right. It lies under the eagle's bed. Let's see what you got, rebel. You're late, Captain. Those occupying the fort were less than thrilled by my presence. And? And what? The damn scroll, you muckworm. Was it there? That it was, Mr. Faulkner. 